My dear ladies and gentlemen, may we have your attention then? We can all begin to spend a moment of this great weekend in a speech that's eloquent. We'll try not to condescend and certainly don't wish to offend. Please think of us as your twinkly friends. We, we are the stars. stars. The silent stars. Oh, ah, except we shouldn't have told you that. Or this. Oh, we must keep mum. We must keep stars. As your silent chums, we must stay dumb. But we don't want to. We like to vent. That's a harsh comment. I mean, what's the point of being sentient if you can't enjoy it sometimes? Look down on these great sights and feast your eyes. So please don't think us impertinent when we say we hope you've enjoyed the weekend's events. Mm, the stages, speakers and many tents, we hope you found them excellent. And leave here feeling most content and don't feel your time has been misspent. If you did, it would torment me and I'd cry, we plament, see? All this is here for your enjoyment. We are honoured that you chose to name it after us. Mm. Not that we said any of that. But sometimes we stars find it hard to stay silent. And in a world that's often difficult and turbulent, even violent, it's even more important to speak up, to not be reticent. To not let the one speak for the 99%. But on our heavenly ascent, there's not so much we can do. Whisper forbidden words into the solar winds? Hope no one hears our noisy sins. Because stars are not meant to speak. Our job is to observe. And though it may seem absurd, no one ever asks us what we think, despite our excellent overview. So it falls to you. We call on you from the depths of space to, to cherish this place. Let it give you strength. To take out across the continents this time you spend among your friends where your inner self finds nourishment. This is the environment for enlightenment. So you can leave feeling a little freer. So take it from us, some celestial overseers. You are all magnificent. magnificent. Not that you heard any of that from us. <laughs>